my lovely. How are you doing today? Happy, happy day. We're here with life and breathing. And life, yes, is a gift and a blessing. You know how many times I want to cry before I came on here because I'm just thinking about this talk and just listening to a podcast and just, oh, I can't wait to tap, dive in and share with you. So welcome, welcome to Friday Confessions. Oh my goodness, yes, it's another Friday Confessions. And we are here. It's fall in New England, and I am wearing this. Yes, yeah, gonna be strong here. Strong. Oh, I'm gonna start in the rain. I feel a little drop. So let's try to make this short, sweet, and simple, but yet effective for you in these next 10 minutes. So, for those tuning in for the first time, hello, hello. My name is Stacy. My name is Stacy, and I'm a child of God. And I'm an artist creating my masterpiece called Life. And I am a life, fitness, and health coach. And I'm here to help and empower you to step into the best version of you so you can create a life filled with abundance of love, health, wealth, and happiness. To create health, wealth, and happiness, and freedom, and freedom. Sorry for repeating myself, but oh my goodness, just abundance. Who doesn't want abundance of love, happy and healthy relationships, and health, and being healthy and fit in your body, mind, and spirits? and wealth, financial freedom, and just wealth, mm, joy, and abundance, and love, and freedom. Okay, so if you're tuning in, oh my goodness, welcome, welcome. So we're here to talk about authenticity. I said it, authenticity, oh my goodness. So authenticity is a big word, we've been hearing it. It's, it's this big word that you're hearing it, if you haven't heard it, you know, everybody's talking like, be authentic, be real, be true, be who you are. In a sense, yes, authenticity is, is that, exactly. You know, not to be fake, nobody wants anybody you know, they don't want to watch or follow anybody who's fake, you know, so be real, be you. But do you really know how to really be you and be authentic? So let's let's kind of rewind a little bit back how, why it could be difficult for us to step into that power of being true to ourselves and who we are. Because a long, long time ago, <laughs> many, many years ago, when we were created and we were born and we came into this world, we were born with everything, all the knowledge and love and from, from all the essence of greatness from our creator who created, we come from the, the creator of all things. You don't think he created us anything less than that. Like we are worthy of all his love and abundance and everything that he has is ours. And we forgot that along the way and it's not your fault. And it's because of our teachings, our upbringing, being domesticated, being programmed, are having our brain downloaded with so much software from others in our past, our parents, our grandparents, society, our teachers, our faith, our religion, politics, and you name it. We were downloaded with all these programs to believe, to act, to wear and dress a certain way, to behave a certain way, to do and and you name it. And so what happens is that we lost that innocence. I like to say our innocence from our youth, our young youth. And so we kind of became molded, right? Society and the world molded, molded us and shaped us into what they wanted us and expected us to be. And so therefore we went out into the world trying to take on the world, doing everything that we we're supposed to do and how we we're supposed to act and dress and wear. And if, if it was something that we weren't not supposed to, we were told that was wrong, that's bad, you don't do this, you don't act like that, you don't dress like that, you don't behave like that. So whether you're punished or reprimanded, whatever it was, it was kind of like wiped out of our, our psyche, you know? And so for some people and many maybe young adolescents and youth and adults, we kind of start maybe questioning or wondering questioning life is is this my purpose is this what I'm supposed to be doing and sometimes it happens later in life you know we kind of again we're kind of following society's terms and doing everything society expects us and wants us to do you know school education college degree house family life white picket fence cars whatever all that success right and so we kind of lost our essence of who are we really truly? What is our soul? What were we created and meant to do and be here on this planet? So, you know, we're living a life according to the flesh. I like this, I like this quote. The flesh 
The soul is willing. The soul wants so much for us. But the flesh, our flesh, our body is weak. And what does that mean is that our soul has been tampered. It's been buried. And we've kind of allowed our flesh, our body, our mind to, to want and do. Ellie, what? It's starting to rain. <laughs> and my feet are cold. Put my slippers on here. It's starting to rain, my love. So I just lost my train of thought. So we... Okay, Holy Spirit, come to me. I just lost. <sighs> here live, this happens. Being real, being truth, or being authentic. And things happen. So, our innocence, yes. we, Our soul is so willing and it wants so much more for us. And we've kind of learned to quiet down that that inner voice or not listen to it I should say we've kind of like forgot how to even tap into that voice that feeling that desire and so maybe we have those feelings or desires come up with for us and we have this like feeling and we're just like questioning it we don't know we're not too sure it feels scary because if you're not too sure when you have that feeling from your soul your higher self let's say you might be scared and turned off the fear factor, your subconscious, because everything you were taught and ingrained in you in your whole life to be and act and do is being tested right now. And you're just like, no, that doesn't feel right. No, 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 no. You know, so you dismiss that voice, that nudge, that desire, because you've been programmed. So I'm here to tell you, oh, I'm getting chilly now. It's a little chilly. It's not 50 degrees. It's raining. What I'm here to tell you is that don't be afraid to listen and to hear and tap into that voice, that tugging, nagging feeling, that desire you have. That is who you really are and what you're really truly meant to be. If there's something that you feel that you just want to do and you have this desire, this burning desire within and you're doing something else or living a certain way and you're just like, but you know, my whole life, my whole world will change if I go that direction. And what is everyone going to think? You know, you're, you're worried, you're fearing the judgment of others, the criticism, right? The outlash from family, society, friends, you name it, if you choose a different path. I know my journey when I, dis <laughs> my journey self-discovery, as I say, in 2016, and I just like totally found me and fell in love with me and embraced me and just was like on top of the world. My family and people thought I was crazy. Like, what's wrong with Stacy? Is she going through some mid-crisis or something? Like, what's wrong? And I was like, you know, I that didn't bother me because I know. And when people start talking and start whispering and saying, what's wrong with her or him? Like, she crazy? That you're doing something that's making them feel uncomfortable because you are listening and tapping in. You're finally tapping into the power within you. You're rediscovering and bringing back your true essence. You're stepping into that power that you were uh, created for. And your soul is, you're allowing your soul to finally speak. Speak and shine for the world to see. And on that journey, you're gonna scare people. People are gonna, you're gonna lose family or friends. I should say family, but you know, people are gonna talk. You know, you might move on and grow, you're going to grow and evolve and therefore you're going to leave people behind because you realize this desire, which is your soul's purpose, trying to come through to you is so much more important than whatever anyone else thinks because you finally found and accepted it and, and you're letting your soul speak finally. And it feels freeing. You feel liberated. You feel on top of the world because there's no turning back. And not saying you don't care, but you just, you're empowered and alive. And you know this is the right thing for you. And that is stepping into your authentic self. I'm cold here. We're getting a little chilly here. That is truly finding who you are truly are. And being real. And being unapologetic for who you truly are. So I'm trying to share with you a whole lot in like less than 10 minutes here, but there's so much to tap into to understand how we got to where we are, how we are programmed, and it's not our parents' fault, grandparents' fault, it's just society. We're just passed down from one generation to another generation. 
And so that's when you have that rebellious side of you, maybe as an adolescent or teenager, because you want to do things your way. And your parents and society is like, no, this is how it is. This is how it is. And this is what you have to do. And this is it. And either you obey them and you conform to them in society and you go out in the world and do everything society, your parents, your teachers and, and religion or whatever told you to do. And then maybe you're in your later 30s or 40s or 50s in life and you have that mid crisis if you want to call it that where you have this awakening like wait a minute I I'm not happy you know yes I have the job the career the house the wife the kids I have this beautiful life you know wealth stability whatever it is but you still find this emptiness it's because your soul you've quieted your soul you put your soul you pushed your soul away for so many years maybe your whole life and you didn't listen to that desire within because you were you were programmed and your subconscious is just doing everything that is norm normally does and so it is scary to change that behavior you know like I said this can get deep this is mindset work neuroscience it's it's like another level here tapping into your higher self and becoming aware of our thinking, our behavior, our patterns of doing and being and behaving, right? So when you can become aware of those thoughts, the way you behave, the way you think and behave based on your thoughts and your actions and how you create a life and how you're living your life based on that program, software that you have, that's when you need to reflect and say, hey, am I happy where I am? Is this the life that I want for myself or is there something else? And you start slowly tapping in to that inner self, your higher self. And guess what? You start upgrading that software. You know, think about it. Could your computer, your phone, any electronics, right? We're always upgrading, upgrading our phones, upgrading our programs, our apps. Why is it that we don't upgrade our brains? We still live in that software from our childhood from four five years six years old when we were programmed we're adults now why is it we're still living those same beliefs from when we were young and now we're you know for me I'm in my 40s I'm gonna be 45 in eight days crazy I'm gonna be 45 years old the 30th of November wow so step into yourself Find a quiet place. Start writing down the things that really truly bring you joy and start really tapping in and start really truly listening to your soul and what your soul has to say because the power is within you. We are created by God, this great source out of love and everything is in here. Even God told me, you are everything you want to be, Stacy. Trust the process, show up and, be your, and do your best every day. And that's all I do. That's all I can do and same for you. But it's becoming aware and recognizing your behavior, your patterns, your way of thinking and doing. And it's time for an upgrade. It's time to upgrade your mindset, your brain, and to allow yourself to let your soul speak and be the true authentic you that you were created and born to be and live. Oh, that's what I have for you. I want to write a book based on this. So a little of my title, my book, Return to Love, Return to Innocence. So, you know, like I said, I'm just giving you a little synopsis of all this, but quiet yourself, quiet your mind, tap into your inner thoughts and listen to the voice of truth, right? Because that's another subject of like, how do we listen? So I'm going to cut it there, but you got that desire we all have that burning desire that voice that feeling that nugging to do this and you kept annoying it and kept pushing it away well guess what now if this message here is is triggering a memory or a thought or maybe that feeling is coming to you now because you're like oh my god Stacey I know what you're talking about like I'm feeling that I've been pushing away pushing aside for years that feeling or doing or being because you know, I have to live up to other people's terms and way society wants me to be, and I'm just afraid and I don't know how to. Well, I'm here to tell you, listen to that voice. Trust that inner voice. Believe in yourself. Write down what it is you truly want in your life and what's moving you, and, and make it happen. And if you want more insight, I'm here to help you as a coach, to help bring that out 
to let your soul speak and shine. So if you need some support and accountability and someone to share with you and um, to help you tap into your inner power, I'm here. I'm here and it's raining. It's raining. Woohoo! <laughs> okay, that my love. I'm a little chilly. I'm going to go inside. It's after 11 o'clock. I'm ready to go eat. <sighs> eat and warm up. Have some tea and go out my day and let your inner <laughs> your inner voice shine your soul speak and shine for the world yes my love so again i'm here for you let me know how to better serve you let me know what you'd like me to talk more about how i'm really here to help you tap into the your higher self the best version you can be so oh my goodness i don't want to cry okay with that said my love feel free to share please share this out and also share love my heart, I got my heart. Share love, <laughs> make peace, and be happy. Be happy, truly be happy, and love yourself, love one another, and um, yes, 